That discussion always need to be had. They always need to have this conversation. I don't know what is sexual harassment no more. They put it where you say hello to a girl you can go to jail. She can sue you for anything. Man, it's a crazy world and time you live in now, buddy. And everybody's doing all these little tricks and things to try to come and trick you out your bag. So it's almost ain't even worth you even... You might as well get married. You'll come out cheaper getting married. Then to deal with these crazy lawsuits from these crazy women out here, you be spending money on lawyers for the rest of your life. Girl at the job just filed sexual harassment because the guy she was talking to and flirting with every day at work, having conversations, he asked her out and she was just toying him around. I don't know. Then... Her man was seeing her all chipper around the house. She ain't even mentioned she had a guy. So now that her man is like, I'm going to be scoping out your job because I know something going on. Now she's going up uh, because he came up there. Who is this guy? He this guy. He be trying to talk to me. and uh, So then she going to get nervous because her man up there and he trying to fight with the other guy. So now she want to press sexual harassment on the guy. So what is sexual harassment? Y'all tell me. I need to know. Because they they make it loud where you can't even introduce yourself to a woman and say, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. You know, I want to get up with you. You can't even do that no more. They've taken the game and put it upside down on his head. Now everything's messed up. The whole game is screwed up. That's all I could... I mean, that's really all I could tell you, man. These rules and the way that these court systems are set up, they're set up to take your money and send you to jail. They're designed for these women... And sexual harassment is supposed to go both ways. There's women that sexual harass men on the job all the time. Nobody talk about that. <coughs> now, I do not condone sexual harassment. Women or men being forced into positions that make them uncomfortable sexually, where they have to compromise themselves. They're afraid to go home. They're afraid to eat. I've seen that before. And that is tragic sexual harassment. Where people just come there just to work. And they're harassed. There's real sexual harassment. And then there's this other crap that goes on. That people are just doing things just for money. And they don't even care at the fact that they're hurting real people in the world who are suffering at the hands of being sexually harassed at the workplace, but they're afraid because they need their job. And if they say something, they may lose it. And it's a slime ball way for an employer to make a living torturing somebody and holding their job over their heads, knowing that this person needs this to feed their family and they're doing what the job that is requested of them but you want them to serve you as well that's just selfish and pathetic and to those people who are going through that there's always something better so I want it detailed if y'all know, what is sexual harassment now? And how is it different from actual flirting? A, pl a man was, a man, it's always a man, right? Man was fired for flirting at the job. Human resources fired him. He didn't get a warning. He didn't get a write-up. He got fired for flirting on the job.
no pension, no benefits, fired. So, of course, he's suing, and rightfully so. Um, they say they have zero tolerance at their company. I don't know the rules of their company. I don't know how it's designed, but that's not that's never a good look. Never. It's going to be hard to shake off your resume. Now, I got to get out of here, but thank you for listening to me. I appreciate it. And I'm serious. I want to read the comment section. I want to see what people got to say about this one.